Hi everyone, Kelt here, bringing in my thoughts on the British royal family, and today I'll be talking about the fallout from Omid Scobie's book, Endgame. His book contains so much criticism of Catherine that Catherine's uncle Gary has jumped to her defence and has said, and I quote, Pantomime season is upon us, I know, but I've never seen such a one-dimensional depiction of my niece Kate as the one I've just read in Omid Scobie's book, Endgame. End quote. He says that colour, race, age, creed and religious beliefs have never been a factor in their values. And he said that for Kate to buck that trend is totally bonkers. And he also said it sounds like blatant jealousy as William and Kate have always been the main event and Harry and Meghan the sideshow. The small video clip I saw of Omid being interviewed actually made me feel slightly sorry for him, but not for long, because he had to admit that he was not a friend of the Sussexes, that he was not in their circle. He also had never sat down to interview Meghan and Harry. And yet he seemed so desperate to support them and back them in everything they do. He looks more and more like Meghan every day whether it's fillers or just his makeup. And now Uncle Gary has come to the rescue. And some are criticising this, or a little bit suspicious of this, and are saying that there is no way that Catherine and her mother would have encouraged him to do this, and that they were probably quite stressed that he had gone rogue with this defence of Catherine. I disagree. As soon as I saw his statement, I thought... He must have full permission and encouragement from William and Catherine to go ahead. That's what I think, because Catherine and William have always stood by the royal rule of don't explain and never complain, and by letting Uncle Gary speak out, they are indirectly defending themselves. Whether they said to him to actually go ahead and trusted him to say the right things, or, more likely, I think, he probably approached them said what he wanted to say, ran it by them, and they checked it and agreed with it. Because it was King Charles and Catherine who were the main people criticised in this book, although he did take a swipe at Carol Middleton, it's been rumoured that King Charles is going to do something about this. The thing is, will he? He's not done anything about Meghan and Harry so far. Or is it that he's going to take action against Omid Scobie? I've always said this stuff is a major distraction. Not wanting to give any attention to what he wrote in his book, I won't be discussing the contents in detail, but I will point out how it seems to me that a lot of what he said sounds very much like Meghan's way of speaking. The type of thing that she would say, for instance, when he was obviously comparing Catherine with Meghan regarding her public speaking or her interviews, and making her out to seem timid and introverted, when we know for a fact that's not true. We've seen Catherine when she might have been shy at the start of her royal life, but she had more confidence than Princess Diana did in her early years, and also Catherine has always behaved impeccably, and as a royal wife, she has always held back and let William speak first, or for him to go first in whatever they do, Knowing that she's highly competitive and when they're, when they're doing things like sports and things, she actually does no holding back, no false humility, as it's not necessary. She loves sport, loves to win and really goes for it. And she admits that she's competitive. So by that very nature, it's obvious that she's holding back when she's at public engagements with William. She is no way shy or timid, but extremely professional. I read Gary's defence of Catherine and it was absolutely brilliant. Everything he said, even down to the fact that Catherine's accent and the way she talks is the same as it has always been. And I think that too. I remember listening to her in the very early days and she sounds the same. So Omid comes across as someone who is as bitter and jealous as this one's wife is. I'm still reading disagreements online whereby some are saying that Catherine and her mother Carol have tried to dissuade Gary from writing his book as they think it will make things worse. 
and others are saying that they doubt that Catherine would associate herself with him. I totally disagree. Her uncle Gary might have a colourful past, but he is a saint compared to Meghan, and he's not stupid. The last thing he would want to do would be to alienate his sister and his niece, as they are known to be a very close family. He would ask them before saying anything. And I've also got confirmation of this from a source who should know. Another thing, which is why I don't read mainstream media apart from when I need it for reference, is this ridiculous headline whereby King Charles makes, and I quote, a sweet nod to Archie and Lilibet as he puts Scobie scandal behind him. So this is the ridiculous stuff out there. Nowhere did he mention their names. He didn't even mention that he had five grandchildren. All he said was his grandchildren, or more accurately, our grandchildren, he said. This is one circus that needs to basically pack up and go home. So many of us are tired of all of this, and the sooner the pettiness is either shut down or addressed by those who have the true authority, the better. It's so obvious that Omid is afraid that Megan will drop him like a hot potato. And if she stays true to form, then it's inevitable. Why should she be any different with him? He would have been far better off supporting William and Catherine, but he's playing his part, I guess. Megan is insisting that it wasn't her, that she did not release the names of the alleged royal racists to Omid Scobie whereby Omid is saying that everybody knew them. Everybody knew, knew those names, everyone in Fleet Street, and he was saying how careful he was with the way he worded everything. As we know, it was only due to a non-English translation that the names of them appeared in other books. This was carefully orchestrated and a cunning move by this one and his wife. And by this one, we know that most of you know that I mean Harry. And when I refer to that one, that's his wife. The fact that it's now transpiring that Omid Scobie collected notes from Harry, who was staying at a hotel near Montecito on a regular basis, and this was confirmed by the concierge at the hotel, the source of this being Neil Sean. Well, it seems that this one and that one failed at ruining Catherine's reputation. And this one would not be able to get the sympathy of the people and become their favourite princess. It's actually made people realise that all of this rubbish coming from her is her desperation to be queen of the world. Instead, she's looking more like an ugly sister rather than the poor old Cinderella and definitely a case of the tables turning. So let me have your thoughts on this and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.